what's going on guys so right now we're driving down to Huntington Beach because it is a beautiful day out today and we're gonna go on Rogers boat we're taking my dad out there on the ocean Thought it would be fun it's actually it's really warm out this weekend it's in the 90s isn't it uh, 96 degrees oh my goodness not 98 I thought that was Nick Fischer's band. 98 degrees. 96 degrees and rising, 2 degrees. And what did you call him, Nick what? Nick Lachey. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that was right. I thought he said it funny for, for a second, but I guess not. Little Miss Iris is wearing her Minnie Mouse outfit today, and she is sleeping. She was ready for her nap. I, I knew it. I'm like, she's going to fall right asleep when we get in the car, and she might sleep the whole way down there but it should be a fun day out on the ocean. So we stopped at Trader Joe's. John's just running in real quick because he's just grabbing a couple things, some snacks while we're out. We shouldn't be out on the water too long, so we're not gonna get lunch or anything like that. He's just grabbing some chips and like salsa and guacamole and some water for us in case we get thirsty. He's in there, good old Trader Joe's. <laughs> so dad, mm -hmm. you excited to go out on the water again, even though you did yesterday? No. Oh. You know, I've been on the water before, I mean, I've been on the ocean. <laughs> yeah. We made it down to the marina and it is real warm. I'm so used to coming to Huntington Beach to it being a lot cooler because it's, you know, closer to the ocean, but it's still hot out here today. Oh, good. We finally used the uh, car seat cover that we bought. Blocking out the sun for Iris. I didn't know we had that in the car. Well, I'm excited for today. I didn't go out on a boat yesterday with the boys, so it's been a little while since I've been out on the water, and it should be a fun little cruise for us. Good old Rogers Marina. Iris is still sleeping. She must be really tired. You guys know what she did this morning? Iris like woke up at 5.30 in the morning, randomly decided that she was gonna stay awake and was doing her cute little like, ah, 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 cooing thing for a long time. She was up for like an hour and I'm just laying there like, please go back to sleep. And I was trying so hard and then finally she went back to sleep around 6.30 and slept until 9.30 but maybe that's why she's extra tired now because she woke up and like usually when she doesn't wake up. Whoopsies and I have to run back and open the gate up for John because John forgot his parking pass. He had to get another one. Never mind. Didn't even need me. You got it taken care of. Okay, so ooh, I am such a clumsy bumbly. So now I'm gonna help John open up all these windows. If I even know how, I've never done this before. But I guess it seems like all you do is unsnap the snappies. These snappies here, not the top one, or yes? How are you doing this? Okay, you are unsnapping the tops too? Well, just open the windows from the inside. Oh, I thought you wanted me to unsnap the things. That's what I was doing. Okay, well, I'm not sure how to open these windows either. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Got them. They're just slidey things like that. Mission accomplished. I am a good deck hand. Yes, yes. So I don't know if I said this yet, but we are going to be taking the boat out and around Long Beach, kind of drive by the Queen Mary and come back. So it'll be just a short little boat trip. We can get out to sea. Hey, and you'll see the Queen Mary like oh. you wanted. Yeah, but I want to go aboard the Queen Mary. Yeah, I know. I know. We can probably do that too, if we have enough time. Not today, but some other day we'll drive there. So here's the stuff we got from Trader Joe's. Are you waking up? I saw some movement. Hey, you just woke up. We're going on the ocean today. We're on a boat. Oh, that was quite the little toot. Don't know if that picked up on camera. Hi, Iris. Here's a little memorial to Roger right here. Yes, look who's awake. We're gonna show her the ocean today. We're gonna show you the ocean today. Oh, what do you think? She's looking around like, ooh, where am I? You've been here before. Yes, you have. John is revving up the engine. I guess I need to be kind of careful with her and not spend too much time outside, you know, stay in the shade because I guess babies aren't supposed to wear sunscreen until they're six months. 
and they can sunburn really easily and since it's so hot and sunny out today. We gotta be all right. I brought a hat though. I brought a hat for her just, just in case. Waving at her? Is your grandpa waving at you? I'm sweating. Way to go. My dad put a hat on Iris's head. Her whole face is covered up. Oops, there it goes. Ghost Captain! Ghost Captain! Oh, what's that? What is that? What's this here? Alright. Grandpa can hold Iris so I can go film John real quick. You look happy, baby girl. Oh, yeah. Iris, Iris. Took my shoes off so I don't trip. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to wear heels on a boat. Ooh, all right, so we're headed out of the marina. I just came to sit with John for a brief moment. Do you, um, do you just love driving the boat? Yeah. Aren't you glad you learned? Yep. Well, I really like being down here on Huntington Beach. It's so nice, especially on days like today. There's no wind. It's 95 degrees out. And the crazy thing about boats and this marina in general is all these boats never move. Like nobody ever uses their boat. And it's like crazy to have like all this opportunity and just this wonderful scenery and boats and just no one ever uses them. It's just so crazy to me. At least we got a nice breeze going now since we're, we're moving. I think my dad will enjoy looking at all these mansions. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of root beer. Root beer. Virgil's is so good. I said ice cream, not ice. Oh, well, we've got ice. There's lots of pretty mansions to look at on the way out, Dad. It's really cool it, around Christmas time. Everyone lights up their mansions with very elaborate Christmas lights. It's fun. Oh, my dad's going up top to go sit by John. I kind of want to go up there and sit with Iris. So like maybe she can look around. There is shade up there because there's like a little canopy, but I'm nervous about getting up there. It's the getting up there that makes me nervous. But I want to take her outside for a brief moment and just show her the ocean and stuff. And I'll sit there and I'll say like, water, water, boat. You know, introduce language to her at a young age. I gave her this floppy hat that I brought for her. And she wasn't very happy when I was putting it on. She was crying a little bit, but now she's doing all right. Out to sea. There are the boys up there. Ahoy! Ahoy. Uh, you got a root beer down there? Huh? Root beer for your dad. Root beer. Oh, they want me to get a root beer. Sure. Yeah, I'll get you guys one. I think John and my dad really like each other, and that makes me really happy. You know, they can hang out and spend time together. And... <laughs> Okay, this is really creepy, I think, but they say every girl grows up to marry their father. And we were filming something once, and the producer saw videos with my my dad in them, and, you know, he knows John, obviously, and he said, you know, John and your dad are really similar, and I never thought about it before. And then I was like, oh my gosh, they totally are. They are similar in a lot of ways. I just think it's a little creepy to say that but they are different in some ways too. <laughs> They're not the same person. On that note, I am gonna treat myself to a root beer too. I don't drink much soda anymore, you know, as a nutrition thing. Haven't had it in a while, but John bought root beer at Trader Joe's and it sounds kinda good. Oh, what, Iris wants that root beer? Ooh. She's like, I can't wait to drink soda. I'm gonna rot all my teeth out. Oh my gosh, I shut the camera off and look at what she's doing. She must be trying to imitate me. She sees me put it up to my mouth. She's not getting any. She keeps trying to put her mouth on on the rim. Maybe it just feels good on her teeth. I don't know. Hey, all right. I don't need you to get any of those flavors though, girl. Girl, come on, give that back to mama. In case anyone is wondering, I exclusively breastfeed Iris and they say you can start introducing them to solid foods between four and six months, but I'm waiting until six months because when I was talking to my pediatrician, she said some evidence suggests that exclusively breastfeeding for the full six months can prevent some diseases. So I was like, why not? You know, I can, I have no problem breastfeeding, so I'll just do that until she's six months. But John cannot wait to feed her a lemon. 
he's seen tons of baby videos where they feed him a lemon for the first time and they make that that funny face. We'll let her try other things first before lemons. A lot of people out on the water today on canoes and paddle boards, things like that. You think that's a paddle boat up there? Look at all those guys. Ooh, that looks fun. Kayaking. Ah. She kept pulling on the strings of her hat and eating them, and I put it back on. Now she's upset with me. But we were facing a way where um, we have a little shade in back, so we're gonna sit in the shade for a while so Iris can, can see outside. So mad at me about this hat, darn it. The water's so blue. six sea lions like six sea lion pups are washing ashore and like the rescues are flooded the aquariums are like over they there's more sick lion baby sea lions than they can take care of right now and I just saw this problem firsthand and it makes me so sad I wish there was something that I could do oh my god just dead sea lions floating in the ocean. I think Iris is getting ready to take another nap. She's getting a little fussy. So there's Iris's Minnie Mouse dress. And there's her car seat. I need to wash out her car seat before we can go anywhere and change her clothes. <laughs> and now she just spit up on my shirt. I don't have a, sh a shirt for Iris in my thing. I only have snowman pants. So I don't know, maybe we'll have to stop at a little gift shop and buy her a Huntington Beach shirt <laughs> for the way home. I don't know if we're gonna stop and eat somewhere or something. There's the pirate house. Yar, matey. Yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. Jolly Rogers. <laughs> Is that funny, Iris? She keeps laughing. I think she's proud of herself. I didn't like that Minnie Mouse outfit anyways. <laughs> she's gonna sit with Grandpa while I clean her car seat the best that I can. Yeah. yeah. Do you have paper towels or anything? Because then you can put the paper towels Yeah, in I suck. Well, Kleenex. I got it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> well, that was just a true test of parenthood right there. There's no running water on the boat right now. So I had to wash that with water bottles and some soap that we have. I'm leaving this to sit in the sun so that it will dry. My dad called the ducks over somehow and now he's feeding them. Some of our chips. Hey ducks. My dad is a friend to nature <laughs> or to birds and squirrels. He always throws food in his yard at his house for the squirrels and the crows. Oh, here's the seagull. Duckies! John's putting the tarp up everywhere. We're getting ready to go and we'll be headed out of here soon. I know you're tired. I'm sorry you pooped in your car seat. Well, what'd you think, Dad? Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was a nice little trip. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Iris covered up from the sun. She's very tired. She's sitting on top of one of my light sweaters in there, and she is fast asleep. I knew she was exhausted. Well, it was a really nice day out on the ocean, and now we're on our way home. Uh, we're back home. You know, it's really fun to go out and have a nice day like that, but the sun and the heat kind of takes it out of you. We're all feeling kind of like, Bruh. You know how you get when you've just been in the heat all day long? So. We already let our doggies outside. They all went potty, of course, right away. They were home alone for a while. 
I had to go back to the car and get my bag because I it was on the other side of Iris and I couldn't carry it. That'd be so mean. Of you. I know I wouldn't do that. <laughs> no worries, do it all. Ready, naked baby? Should we put some clothes on you? Hi, naked baby. Well, since we were kind of out for a long time today, we decided to get dinner at a restaurant. We didn't really feel like cooking at home. John's Hi. making faces at Iris. I caught you. I caught it on camera. Hi. Is that so? Iris wants to talk on the vlog. She has something to say to you guys. <laughs> My dad wanted to try some prawns that they have here. We came here the first night that my, my dad arrived. Look who's sleeping. That's good. I was a little nervous about coming out at this time because it's getting close to her bedtime. It probably is her bedtime now. I was worried she might flip out. Mm, so dinner is here. I got the deboned pan roasted chicken. My dad got prawns that were that are char broiled. John got I forgot what yours is called. Beef eater. Beef eater, that's right. How could I forget a name like that? But I did. And we got a side of sauteed mushrooms to share. I'm gonna dig in. It's hungry. We didn't have lunch today. Well, we're back home now, and I was just trying to put Iris to bed for a while, but she woke up in the restaurant after taking a bit of a nap, and I guess now she's not tired. We were laying there for a while, and she just kept talking, going like, oi, 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 ah, oi, oi. Isn't that right? You're doing oi, 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 oi. So I just brought her out here and she can sit with us for a while. My dad's gonna come out soon and we are gonna finish a movie that we started last night. We started the noon night, I, I always keep say, almost saying nightmare in the museum for some reason. It's, uh, what, what is it called? Night in the museum. Night in the museum. Night at the museum. Yes, not nightmare. Three. Three. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog. We had a very lovely day today. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, and always remember that I love you, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Hey, 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 Just keep spitting it out. What are you talking about? Like watching your dad play Game of Clans? <laughs> <laughs> it's Museum of Clans, Nikki. <laughs>